Welcome back. So today we're going to do a how I'm curing my acne. So I have had the most stressful past, I think it's been like two weeks. I had like a situation that concerned my safety and I had such bad anxiety, like I felt so uncomfortable in my own home and my skin was a result of all that stress and anxiety. Like as you can see, I am breaking out so bad. I've never broken out this bad in my entire life before. As you can see, I have them like everywhere. They're slowly starting to go away because I just like really had to incorporate a lot of meditation and just mindfulness just to calm myself down and to make myself just feel safe and um, to take the steps that I needed to to not let myself stress out. One thing I was doing was, is I just started to meditate. I started to just incorporate a little more self-awareness as to when I start to see myself getting anxiety and what is causing that, where it's stemming from, what fear inside of me, and just not validating that fear. I had to work on my mind a lot and I haven't been having any new breakouts, but I also need to take care of my skin right now because you know, even though I'm still not stressed out, things are still on my skin from when I was. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing to help it. I love a more natural skincare line. I love like the Korean brands I think are really great. And I found this really good one called Isentry. And they sent me a few other products to try out and I love them. So I want to share with you. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the Isentry um, Real Mugwort Clay Mask. I think mugwort is how you say it. Um, but this is really good for just exfoliating your skin and dissolving any impurity, impurities and excess sebum that you have in your pores um, while keeping your skin hydrated and moisturized. So it doesn't leave you feeling like super dry like I feel like a lot of clay masks do. So I'm going to put this on as my first step. Also, just a quick disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Isentree. However, all these opinions are completely my own. How it is when I do brand deals is I like to try out the brand first to make sure that I actually like it. Um, so just an FYI, this is 100% just what I think about the brand and just an honest review. So my skin has like changed a lot since the last time I've done a skincare routine. I haven't done one, I think in like a couple years. So just by like getting older, just by like different things that I've been going through, my skin has really been through it and I feel like it's been really hard for me to find a routine that like, I don't know, that just really works and like that I like. Like I'm so picky with what I put on my body, in my body, so I feel really happy about Isentry because I really trust their brand and I trust the ingredients and I love that they use more of like, they come from more of like a natural, you know, place. So I'm just putting this all over. And like I said, this is going to help dissolve all of like the acne causing bacteria, the sebum, all my impurities, like all of the acne that I have right now, none of them are actually active. Uh, well, I, probably, I actually have like a few like little you know, bumps and stuff. But all of like the big cystic acne is basically gone and it's mainly from using this mask because this mask is just helping me um, dissolve all of that. It's also going to help with the texture of your skin. And I have a couple other products that I'm about to show you that help with texture too. Okay. Okay, so now that the mask is completely on, I'm going to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and while it's on my face, I want to have a little quick chat just about acne and how debilitating acne really can be. Like, ever, like, I've always had, like, you know, problem skin. Like, I feel like I've never once had fully clear skin. Right now is just an extreme case where I've just noticed certain things that I've been doing have really been hurting my skin. Um, a big part of it is, like, diet. I love sugar so much. You have no idea. Like once a week I have my cheat meal and I'll have like cake and cookies and ice cream. And every time, like this means that every week I'm going to have a breakout because sugar just affects my body and my skin so much. So I've stopped doing that, which really sucks. 
But honestly, like acne really hurts like self-confidence. I feel like like when my skin is not good, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't even want to put makeup over it because then it just like you can see the texture and I feel like you can tell when people are looking at your skin and I feel like having acne, it's such like a judgmental thing. I just feel like it's, it's just really sad like the way that like I even talk to myself when I have pimples on my skin. And I just want to say that like, you know, it's completely normal, it's natural, it's okay, it's just a phase, it's not like you're going to have them forever, like just take the right steps that you need to to heal your skin and to clear it. A lot of the times acne is stemming from your gut, so maybe you need to take probiotics, like just think more about like ways you can improve your body and things you can be doing to heal it rather than thinking about, oh, I'm so ugly because my skin is bad. and your self-talk is really going to affect how it continues to look in the future just because our minds are so powerful and we believe what we tell ourselves. Um, so I think that just like helping, helping out your body by having a healthy mindset and try not to let your mind wander too much about just like, you know, talking bad on yourself about your skin. Um, just try to like have the self-awareness and just cut that bad self-talk and try to flip it around and try to maybe start telling yourself in the mirror, I have clear glowing skin. Like that's what I've been telling myself every single day. Just to like kind of help rewire my brain, stop that negative self-talk and just to like give myself and my body the time to heal my skin and just be easy on yourself. Like, you know, your body is trying the best it can to help you function and to live. I think that having positive self-talk just helps, you know, like motivate your body in a way. Anyways, I just wanted to say that like, even if you have acne, it's okay. Like you are still beautiful. It does not determine your self-worth or really even how beautiful you are in my opinion. Also, I struggle with it too, so. It's easy to like look at someone online and you know like you can have makeup on or even the cameras that we use like with certain lighting can make our skin appear a lot better but like in reality like you know my skin is really bad too in certain photos it doesn't look as bad. Um, so it's a normal thing to struggle with and I'm here with you if you're going through it too. Okay, I just washed off the mask and my skin is feeling good and fresh and it's not feeling dry at all. Like most masks, when I take them off, my skin feels like I'm like, eh, like I can't smile. Like everything's like cracking, but like I feel good. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is the Isn't Tree again. Green tea, fresh toner. You can see right here. Um, so what this is gonna do, this is going to help gently um, clean your pores, clean that excess sebum that is causing acne, which we love this, and while keeping your skin moisturized. Um, and this is fresh green tea from Pure Jeju Island. Maybe I'm not saying that right. Um, so it basically helps control excess sebum for soft skin. We love that. So take my little clean cotton pad. I put a little on there maybe and I put a little too much but what I love about isn't tree is I feel like it doesn't uh, it's not harsh like it still protects and actually helps strengthen your skin barrier which I feel like a lot of products can be really damaging to your skin and they just overdo it but these are just so gentle um, but they get the job done you know so we love that okay so I have heard about BHA everywhere and it's really good for just removing the dead skin, the excess sebum again, which I've been talking about. Um, it just really helps clean out your pore and smooths out your skin. So the little, um, like if you have like little texture bumps, the BHA is going to really be like magic for you. Um, and this is called the Chestnut BHA 2% Clear Liquid. We have to fuck it. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit on a cotton pad. And I'm going to wipe this all over my face. Um, this, I feel like a lot of BHAs and stuff like that can really dry out your skin, but this one helps keep the moisture in. Um, just locks it in there while cleaning out your pores and exfoliating. It's like a gentle exfoliator that doesn't have like the actual like harsh, you know, little beads. So it just, oh my gosh, 
you're you're gonna be amazed by this look at all the dirt that's coming off my face like it's literally like yellow now i'm just applying a moisturizer Okay, the next product I'm going to show you is literally famous. Um, this is the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. So the problem with a lot of sunscreens um, is it'll make your skin like white and pasty, but and it doesn't contain like ingredients that are going to help your skin. It just kind of does a sunscreen part. This is kind of like a two-in-one, like it helps um, replenish all the moisture in your skin because it has eight types of hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid is really good for hydrating your skin. Um, and then it also has 50 SPF sunscreen. And SPF is really important. Like I saw this picture of this truck driver and on the side of the window that hit the sun, his face was so wrinkled, but the side that had no sun on it was like baby smooth. Like it was honestly the craziest thing. So sunscreen is a really important part of your routine, especially I feel like for acne scars, because I feel like the sun can um, really damage and make them worse. As you can see it, um, it blends out like completely clear and it just feels really nice on your skin and it's also like a really good um it like doesn't interrupt like your makeup underneath it you know how like sometimes if you put on sunscreen and then you put on your foundation it like won't blend it'll just kind of like sit on top of your skin well this is really good to pair with makeup too so it works out well and we have finished that is exactly what i'm doing to just help clear out my skin and all these little dark spots right here are not active i have like a couple active pieces right here but um this mask and all the other products that i've been using has really helped just clear it and you know get rid of all that excess sebum and acne causing bacteria but anyways i also just wanted to say like i was super nervous to do this video because like it takes so much like vulnerability like it is so much vulnerability coming on here and like showing you my raw skin at its worst and I almost didn't do it I almost like wanted to wait until it got a little bit better but then I thought to myself like this is what's wrong with social media I feel like there's so many um people out there you know that are feeling insecure about their skin or something so they don't want to show that to the world so then you know from an outsider's perspective like a someone who's looking at your content it makes it look like you just have a perfect life perfect skin perfect everything so I just feel like it's important to share my ups and downs because I want you to know that like acne is so normal so many people struggle with it like I struggle with it pretty severely right now I feel like um, so I just wanted to put this video out there to also help those who are struggling about it um, and just to show you like the realities like it's okay, it's normal, a lot of us go through this and if you have perfect skin I'm so jealous, you're so lucky, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, but anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave a link in the description box to all these products. You can get them all on Amazon. So that's super fast shipping, super easy, super great, easy order. Um, anyways, I'm going to leave a link to all of them below. And don't forget to go check me out on all of my other socials and go follow me on Instagram. Okay, my camera died. Sorry. Anyways, I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.